Today I'm gonna try and explain facial expressions. So if you know how to draw the shape of the head, you have a, a character or anything like that and you want to do a facial expression, you know, showing sadness, happiness, anger, perhaps tired or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna try and explain a little bit how it works, uh, what you need to think about and uh, some tips and tricks uh, in doing so. Uh, I'm gonna show you uh, five different expressions. Uh, happy, angry, sad, surprised and tired. Because I believe uh, in these five uh, you can find things or elements that you can transfer into, you know, kind of laid back angry or, you know, just uh, sick or anything like that. You have other expressions hiding within uh, some of these elements for, from the others. So I will try to show you what I mean by that. So let's take a pen and, and let's just go nuts. So, okay, happy. Happy is a expression that is usually, you know, wide-eyed. Uh, I'm gonna, not gonna do this uh, very, very uh, good. I'm just gonna try and show you what I mean. Uh, when I say uh, these expressions, they don't have to be perfect, uh, just so you can see what I mean. Uh, so happy, you usually have the eyebrows raised up uh, like such. I'm gonna lower this uh, like so. And you have a big smile like so. Now this is happy. So what is happening here? Uh, let's do a new layer above and I'm gonna take a red pen to show you. So the eyebrows are going up like this. You see? And the cheeks and the mouth goes outwards. And the eyes are very open. So these are the things uh, to look out for when you when it's happy. Uh, you could also do uh, the um, kind of manga way of happy, uh, which is the eyes closed, and then you do like a bend line like this. Still, eyebrows up and nose like such. My nose is really bad, but and. Let's do a smile like this. So you still, you, now it's closed eyes and still happy. Uh, but the same thing goes, uh, except for the, the eye part. The mouth is going wide uh, to the sides, grinning, and the eyebrows are going up. Uh, so let's go from happy to angry. Now angry, uh, I'm gonna do the, you know, when you're absolutely furious, when you're like, okay, I'm gonna kill somebody, that kind of angry. Uh, because that is the kind of climax of anger, I, I feel like. And I'm doing these very quickly because at the same time, it's not about quality this video, it's about showing you the way to think about it. Uh, and I'm gonna do this kind of angry, I think. Yes, I'm gonna do this one. And what I mean by that, I will explain soon. And I feel that my lines are a little bit skewed. Uh, usually I do everything in one swoop, so that's why I feel a little bit weird when doing this like this. And let's put them a little bit lower and tilt it so we get a little bit more symmetrical. There we go. Boom. Sorry about that. Uh, no, I'm going to have the big mouth. Yeah, the big mouth. And some teeth. Now, this is angry. Uh, you could even do even more. You could do crazy angry, which is uh, when you uh, put 
and the eyes more open and the pupils you make them very much smaller and you can even have him screaming but what you see here is now the eyebrows are going down they are fairly straight down except for this little bend over here but that's because your eyebrows are shaped from the eye holes are shaped like that so the eyebrows goes down sometimes even wrinkles in the nose you can do it like this even and you can see clenching of the teeth and in this case we made it so the eyes are a little bit more uh, wider uh, and that's because I want him to really like uh. and you can see I made the uh, pupils a little bit smaller because if you make them big, sure, you can have him angry, but when you're furious, it's like they go too small. The same thing goes when you're really scared. Uh, your eyes could uh, go to very small, and then you have a much more scary look. But as you can see, eyebrows down, uh, clenching of the mouth. Uh, for females, usually the mouth is not that big if it's not a comedic character and such. Uh, you could, you know, just do, uh, we can do something like this. We can uh, do a different kind of anger. We can do a more, like, I'm angry with you, but I'm not acting on it. This is angry, acting on it. But if we do it like this, let's go like that. Uh, we can do, uh, no, let's do it like this. Um, we're gonna remove that. We're gonna copy uh, the angry here, just to save some time. Uh, and I'm gonna remove the mouth uh, and I'm gonna no nope, I'm gonna keep the eyes I'm gonna keep the eyes yes uh, I'm just gonna do one change here really uh, and that's this now you can see he's angry he's like irritated and angry but he's not you know I'm gonna act on it angry so just a simple change with the mouth and you can see uh, the difference already. This is more like, yes, I'm angry, but I'm smart enough to not act on it. I'm angry, I'm gonna act on it. I'm furious. So as you can see, there's uh, a lot of things you can change to get the expression. Uh, for the most part, I would usually say, think about theater. Uh, not movies, because movies, yes, if you have to have a very subtle look to your face, yeah, then look look at movies. But if you're gonna have these, you know, very uh, passionate, very uh, over-the-top expressions, then you have to think about theater, you know, big movements, big everything, make it over-the-top. If he's angry, okay, his mouth is really big, screaming, his eyes are wide and bulging and his eyebrows are like pointing down like arrows you have to make it everything bigger if you want those really big emotions and now let's go to sad now sad is a very diverse uh, emotion you can have you know crying and everything like that but what I'm trying to do here is sad like they are sad that maybe someone is leaving, but not as sad to, you know, cry, and you know, you know, be like really, really sad. This is kind of like medium sad, if you want to call it that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with uh, bent eyebrows, like such. Uh, and I'm going to try, see, I'm going to try, I'm going to try this first. Let's see if that works. Uh, I had not planned anything. I'm just wanted to do, you know, expressions and do what naturally comes to comes to mind. Uh, so I'm trying this for pretty much the first first time. And yeah, I'm liking this. I'm just gonna, you know, shove it a little bit to the side more so I don't get the character looking like cross-eyed yeah a little bit like that there we go and there we go uh, since I'm doing this you know digital it's a little bit more easier for me to shove but you know um, it's really about you know trying sketching uh, 
yeah, uh, this is kind of medium set. I'm gonna do one more just to show you what the other one was. Uh, but as you can see here, the uh, the main focus here is not the eyes. The eyes could be, I did uh, the kind of tired eyes, kind of like, oh, someone just said something. The mouth could be different as well, but the main thing is the eyebrows. Because sad usually is uh, bend eyebrows pointing upwards. Uh, so you get this. Uh, you can also have this when uh, you, know, you could also have just one of them uh, and have like uh, a what kind of moment. Uh, but usually when it's sad, the eyebrows point up. Uh, the mouth is a typical, you know, bend outwards, downwards. You know, the typical sad mouth, you would say. Now, you see, I did a little bit of a, a wavy mouth because you could do also a more like a comic sad also. But I'm going to show you what uh, what uh, other version I could do uh, of sad. And we're going to remove sad, take a brush again, and I'm going to go. Hopefully, I will do the eyes right this time and I'm gonna go like this now I believe this is more perhaps sad I don't know I think it is because sometimes also when you have a character and you have designed it but uh, sometimes you have to try and see is this the the good version of sad for this character this design or is this the wrong version for it and you have the nose and I'm gonna go with this kind of mouth now you can see once again I'm gonna do the eyebrows a little bit more defined just so you can see that it isn't just you know eye eyebrowless <laughs> and it's actually eyebrows uh, and I'm gonna once again just move this a little bit more to the side there we go so we get it correctly now this uh, is eyes and you have to also remember that we have no shadow nothing to uh, emphasize the eyes or the shadows in the eyes the pupils and stuff like that uh, but the same technique goes here the eyebrows are going upwards uh, you can see the eyes open the change here is uh, the mouth is uh, a little bit more open uh, kind of like half open because it's, it's kind of like when someone has just said some sad news and the character is like, oh, oh, and you know, that's the small little mouth that can't say much words. It's kind of like, you know, just gasping uh, or like, oh, shit. So uh, there are different ways to play around with this. But the main focus on sad, I would say, is the eyebrows, the eyebrows pointing upwards. If you have that and you can make a, a sad mouth, then you have it. Then you have a sad expression. And of course, we could push it even even further by, you know, pointing out or doing uh, the uh, running eyes, the, the tears in the eyes, like such. Or have, yeah, let's have both eyes be watery and running. Now you have someone who is crying. Now it's like over explaining. Now we know this person is sad. But if we remove those, yes, you can still have it being sad. Uh, so there are different versions of it, different layers of it. But let's go to surprised. Now surprised is happy or negative it could be surprise i'm gonna kill you or surprise this is your birthday surprise party uh, so of course we're gonna have you know the the big eyes and let's let's just go i'm just gonna do like a half moon kind of eyes like this and hopefully we will get something out of this uh you know. This one, like this, yes. So, uh, which one should I do? Well, here's the thing. Uh, when it comes to uh, surprised, you really have to uh, focus on uh, two things. 
Uh, once again, it's usually the eyebrows and the mouth, but uh, you also have to uh, think about the eyes because I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do scared. I'm gonna do scared uh, surprise first, uh, and therefore I'm gonna do eyebrows that are uh, pointing a little bit more upwards, kind of like sad, but not bend. So it's kind of like on the way to become that. I'm gonna make small eyes. And I'm gonna do some lines underneath, like this, under the eyes. And we're gonna have a surprised mouth. Now you can see this person is not happy about what that what the person is seeing. That that is obviously clear. Uh, because we're doing the kind of sad eyes and we're doing the mouth that is also, you know, referenced to in the sad department. But also the eye shadow or the eye wrinkles underneath is a, a trick to show you that it's either tired, sick, uh, surprised or beaten down or, you know, under the weather. Uh, so we're just adding negative feelings to this, uh, to this image. And that's why we really recognize quickly that, oh, okay, whatever this person is seeing is not good. It's surprising, it's, uh, it's horrifying. <laughs> uh, but I'm also gonna do uh, the, the other version as well. So we're gonna do a copy, we're gonna remove some elements here. And uh, let's see, we're gonna take a bigger, faster brush or eraser here just to erase some elements we're gonna remove the eyebrows and we're gonna remove the mouth now I'm gonna do the eyebrows again uh, this time however I'm gonna bend them a little bit we're still gonna point them upwards because that is more of a surprise we open up our eyes when we are surprised so I'm gonna just gonna do quick very quick eyebrows here uh, like such doesn't have to be perfect or anything just to show you the the effect uh, I'm gonna do also change the eye size to a bigger size like such and my computer is a little bit lagging because I'm having work rendering in the background anyway so we have big like that and we can do like this yeah this works uh, now we have a more positive uh, uh, surprise uh, we could also push this uh, with even more things but uh, for the sake of it uh, you have uh, the eyebrows are first and foremost more bent into the happy kind of way that we know it comes from happy faces. Uh, the eye size is larger, which means uh, not so terrified, more like, oh, I'm taking in stuff. And also, I changed the mouth uh, a little bit, whoops, a little bit too big of a eraser there. But you can see the shape, and I'm gonna go with the red to explain. Uh, so bendy, bend the eyebrows like this the eye size got uh, larger and you can see here the shape is a little bit more like a happy face not too much i also made it a little bit more round you know just so you can see slightly that, it, that it's a happy face so the shape of a happy face larger eye pupils and bended eyebrows that's a more happy surprise. Uh, and let's do one more. Let's do no. Let's let's let's, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, not stay on things too long. Now tired. Uh, now this is a uh, this is something that may, perhaps many people do differently. Uh, but me, I like to do it like this. Uh, so where the eyes are, I just draw lines like this. Uh, these are the eyelids, the top eyelids. Uh, and then I put where my pupils are. So like this. 
they are disappearing underneath the top eyelid and then you have the rest of the eye or in my case the lack of uh, now you can see this character looks kind of almost a little bit evil but we're gonna put a little eyelid wrinkle like this and we're gonna put uh, eyebrows that are kind of sad or kind of surprised and uh, not bend it too much you can bend them but then they will look kind of you know uh, sad tired can do one here a little bit so you can see uh, maybe it works better now because the other one is uh, kind of straight but you can see here already he kind of looks uh, tired as it is and then you have I would usually do a kind of medium mouth with a straight line but uh, bended ends of the mouth. Now this could al always be uh, changed, uh, I'm going to show you later. But you have the eyebrows kind of going up, you can bend them. But the main thing here is the eyelids, you know the straight line eyelids and then and then you have also don't forget the wrinkle because that makes it not you know an evil character uh, it makes it look like oh the eyes are closed and then you have of course the straight mouth but with the bended ends of the mouth to make it okay like mm, I'm tired I want to go to sleep now of course we can do uh, an alteration of this so let's duplicate it and let's remove the mouth uh, I'm gonna go with also uh, I'm gonna change the eyebrows actually uh, so let's go there and we're gonna take uh, I'm gonna go a little bit closer to the eyelid uh, so you can see you don't have to you know point it up all too much you can have it uh, kind of like down down here and if you want him to be tired and you know grumpy yeah then you can do a little bit of evil eyes uh, or angry eyes no the angry eyes uh, angry eyebrows uh, to get him to look more frustrated uh, but you can do the yawn the oh, I'm so tired, please let me be. Can I yawn like this? Now, this is uh, you know, this is uh, you know, ah, you don't spell yawn like that. I can't write. Uh -huh. Here we go, yawn. There we go. Uh, now, one thing you could do. Uh, with this is also the wrinkles underneath the eyes trick again to make him feel like oh I haven't slept for like uh, ages you can even have wrinkles in the end of the eyes like this make him perhaps not shaven for <laughs> a long time if your character is clean shaven okay have him uh, perhaps not shaved or if it's a girl maybe she has bed hair or something like that she hasn't taken care of her hair or something you know something that tells you that oh okay these people have not slept they have not taken care of their personal hygiene or anything like that uh, so that is a way to you know show show that now what about all of these uh, faces like happy angry sad uh, surprised and tired uh, as you can see the uh, the thing that always repeats itself is how you use the eyebrows depending on if it's bent upwards if it's going down and uh, sometimes it's the shape of the eye it can be uh, half closed with some wrinkles it could be uh, wide open uh, to show you like oh the whole eyeball uh, the nose is probably the least thing you have to think about sometimes when angry you get the wrinkles 
but not that much. The nose is pretty much the most thing that doesn't change much. Uh, and then you have, have of course, the, the closed mouth, the open mouth, the really open mouth uh, that is angry or something like that. Uh, so there's different ways there. So the most part is the eyes and the eyebrows and the mouth. That's what it is. And then of course you can have other things like, you know, uh, shadows and how you pose the character. Also remember the body language with the face is always uh, important as well. Because if you have a, like a t tired character, but he's doing, you know, very you know, active things, it kind of goes against each other. Sure, you can have a character that, is, that it always looks tired and always, you know, is active or maybe doing martial arts or whatever, but then you have to explain that character. You can't have people, you know, like, oh, of course, I get it, but from the start, you have to sometimes, you know, explain that. But facial expressions is usually uh, eyebrows, the eyes, and mouth. Or maybe I should do like this instead. Mouth. Uh, so that's the three things that usually determines uh, the facial expression. Uh, now, exa example for you know evil, you get the angry. Uh, if you want an angry person, let's see, we can take the angry. Uh, and we can do this. Now we're gonna make an uh, an evil character, okay? So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna remove these parts. I'm gonna shape the eyes differently and I'm gonna shape this differently. So we have the eyebrows from the angry character. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna do like this. I'm gonna do sort of an evil eye shape. And I'm gonna put it like this. Let's see, so I get it correctly like that. A little bit more. And I'm gonna have, nope, I'm gonna do the smaller eyes. When you do evil eyes, it's usually better to do smaller eyes because I don't know why, but it always looks more evil when the eyes, uh, the eye pupils are smaller for some reason. And we can maybe exchange, you know, make the nose a little bit longer. And then we can have the, the evil smile perhaps, like such. And maybe we can have some evil teeth as well. Now this uh, is a very quick version of it, but and I would usually uh, make the the face a little bit smaller, perhaps, for this evil character. Uh, maybe you know, emphasize it. We can we, because here is the thing that I talked about. Also, the uh, the effect you can have with, for instance, if we put this character in a little bit of shadow here. Let's say he's he's got hair or a hood or something that you know from his eyes or whatever, maybe he's, you know, trapped, uh, maybe his light is coming from from the behind him, uh, but we can easily, you know, create uh, something that looks really menacing just by adding a little bit of shadow here. Uh, I'm gonna do it like this, I'm gonna actually go, hmm. No, I'm gonna do the shadow from behind, actually. I'm, let's skip hood. You can do the hood version also, but I think for this, it's better to do the from behind uh, aspect of it. So, shadow is gonna come uh, like this. And as you can see, I'm not doing this really that detailed, or I'm not taking this I'm not drawing this, you know, detail. I'm just gonna sh quickly show you what you can do with a very small uh, means. So we can do that, and we can 
take away a little bit of shadow from the eyes and teeth and there you go now the character looks uh, menacing it's kind of like uh oh this character has either found us or is about to do something dastardly uh, but as you can see you have pump always we took the, the the eyebrows from angry we made a little bit more evil eyes but we put a smile to it so there, there is something that uh, also works when you can have sometimes have uh, contradictory uh, movements in the face to show us uh, a new feeling. Uh, for instance, if uh, we have the surprised, uh, let's do that. We can do this. Uh, we take surprise, we duplicate it, and we're gonna go and like this. I'm gonna go and. Yes, I'm gonna move the eyes up. So it's kind of like uh, seeing something. Like that. Oh my god, let's see. I'm gonna move this a little bit. Like that, perhaps. Yes. Alright, uh, I'm gonna remove uh, just the mouth here. And I'm gonna put a. That's a too big, big brush. Let's see. I'm just gonna go here. Yeah, something like this. Now you can see here. Uh, instantly, it's a a little bit more creepier, uh, and that's because I put the very surprised face uh, with a a smile uh, and that makes it a little bit more uncomfortable because the if we uh, like this if we cover up this part we know it's scared but if we remove it we can see that he's smiling so why is he smiling when he when the rest of his face is looking surprised or scared so you can have this as perhaps someone is breaking down uh, if we add, for instance, kind of tears here, perhaps, uh, like this. Then it becomes even more clear that, oh, something wrong has happened. He's maybe losing his mind. Maybe he's like so scared that he's going insane or something. Uh, maybe there's blood splatter on his face. And we can see the tears and everything and it's like oh my god what, what has happened to this character so as you can see there's a, a thing you have to do where you have to try and mix things to get some new stuff but as i always usually say is reference uh, you have yourself you have a mirror do the extreme uh, facial expression that you're you're looking for or maybe if you have a movie and they are doing the perfect uh, small sublime uh, little facial expression that you buy, oh this is what i want okay pause it look at what he's doing or she's doing with her eyebrows her eyes her face her mouth uh, the body posture everything what is creating that expression um, and then of course if it doesn't work in your drawing try making it bigger you know make it more over the top you know express it more because sometimes uh, subtle and small expressions can get lost uh, if you're only making it in a single illustration or drawing uh, in a comic perhaps then you maybe have you know a situation or a scene where you can explain uh, the expression and then you can come up get away with it but uh, and sometimes maybe even you know uh, show that oh this character is, is is this kind of character and shows these kinds of expressions but for a single illustration you have to be a little bit more clearer uh, even if you have everything around it you know can explain it even though you have to sometimes make the expression bigger to uh, make sure that everyone understands it uh, so yeah that's pretty much what I mean uh, about facial expressions of course there are other factors that you know help the expressions you know the body posture it could be in the background it could be a lot of things uh, that could help the expression but for the most part uh, it is 
like I said, about the eyebrows, the eyes, and the mouth. Uh, that's usually what makes an expression. Very seldom is it the nose, it's usually these three. So I hope you have learned something today, and I will see you next time. Bye!